Hey guys, what's up? It's Jules here with my son Ewan. Hey boy, oh, how's it going? It's really nice. it in, Wholesome it in, Thursdays? It's yeah, you've been hanging out with Adam Cleary too much on these uh, comic book news and stuff like that, so just thought I'd uh, step in and show him who the daddy is, alright? Anyway, if we're together it can mean only one thing, it's time for some news, so let's hit that jingle. Looks like there's news a-brewing, guess it's time for Jules' new win. Yes, mate! And we're back in the room, and today we're talking about Batman. Well, technically... Batman, because Bat we're actually Dad. talking about Bat Daz, yep. Bat Cad, because actually he's British and yeah. he's his butler. We're yep. talking about Alfred. Mm. Now, what do you think when you think of Alfred, like straight away? Um, I think of balding men with facial hair um, who are British um, who replace absent father figures. So I've got nothing in common with that. No, so, no. so you do you know? No, yeah, so it, yeah. So it's an alien thing to you. So yes. basically, he's a good boy. He's he's done a lot of stuff for Bruce, even going so far as to beat up Superman in one one instance. Oh, in Injustice, yeah, yeah. he gets he takes the pill and he starts beating yeah. him up. That's that a great was, scene. Right. Therefore, maybe it's time that he got his own thing. Yeah. Maybe he's got his time. He got his own spin-off. Um, I'm just gonna say now, I think Alfred is fantastic. I think out of all the supporting characters that Batman has, mm -hmm. he's probably the most overlooked and a slightly underappreciated character. Mm -hmm. um, because one thing people don't seem to know is that Alfred actually has a really massive past. Like yeah. Depending on the interpretation, he's been a spy, mm -hmm. he's been an actor, mm -hmm. he's been a member of the SAS, he's been a doctor, a medic, he's basically been everything. And he's and managed to do all of that and keep up really good but butlering duties. Yes. And he's never thought to himself, ah, oh, all of those previous careers are probably better paid. Mm. It's almost like it's a, a, a fantasy thing, but anyway, yes. we're getting on. <laughs> he's, he's getting his own spin off. Thing. Yes, it's being led by one of the people from Gotham, just one, so don't worry, even though Sean Pertwee's Alfred is really, really good in that mm -hmm. show. But anyway, um, yes, it's a Gotham prequel, it's being aired on a channel called Epix, with an X. Um, I've never heard of that channel Neither before. have I, but you know, that's really cool because mm -hmm. it's going to focus about Alfred in the swinging 60s after he has left um, the SAS. Um, mm -hmm. I wonder if it's only going to take around, uh, take place maybe around the Suez Crisis or after yeah. the Malaya emergency, They're all kind of history things. Um, but yeah, he meets... would allow him to do secret espionage yes. stuff. Um, so it revolves around him meeting Thomas Wayne in London and then they're going to do espionage things. And to me, everyone's there looking at, what's he doing? What, why is Alfred doing that? Is he going to do learn to make tea? Is that what the Alpha prequel is going to be all about? No, he's going to be about him doing really cool and things. bonding with him, Thomas with Wayne. Wayne. And that's yeah, the other thing as well. And we'll get to see more of um, Bruce Wayne's dad, yes. which is something that is they, they rarely touch on in the comics. <laughs> Hi, son. <laughs> yeah, and they rarely rarely touch on it because of the fact that it is almost quite a, a sanctum out thing. Mm. You don't really want to mess too much with the Waynes because the whole idea of Batman not getting to know his parents yes. is the reason why he keeps exactly. fighting for them. Mm. If he actually knew them in any sort of like length of time, mm. they probably say dressing up as a giant bat and fighting people probably yeah. isn't the wisest choice. Why don't choice you just continue our philanthropy? That's a great way to honor our yeah. memory. I mean, yeah. maybe take all the money that you're spending on all of these crazy research things and yeah. actually start doing, I don't know, find a cure for cancer. Yeah, or yeah, stop beating up poor people, Bruce. God. Bruce, go to your room. Yeah, go to your room. Am I doing that right? That's, that was quite authoritative. Well, you'll, when you have a kid of your own, yeah. then you'll understand. It just sort of snaps into yeah. place after that. I mean, you just got a beer in one hand, a pointing finger in the other, that's all you need. Um. Anyway, so Alfred is getting his own thing, which, like uh, like we were just talking about before, like, some people are a bit annoyed about it, but I think that it is a perfect thing for him. It gives a bit more of a backstory, it allows people to sort of revel in the past, people always want more sort of Batman stuff, and why not? He's done so much for Batman, it's time that he got his own Spotlight? I was going to say spotlight and light in the sky. It's own spot of tea light. It's going to be, a, if it was a, a one of those searchlight things, it'd be a tea. Yes. Cup of tea. Yes. The tea bag, if you will. That could be his, his title. No? That would not be a good superhero. No. Name. Okay. The well, tea bag. anyway, this whole Alfred news got me thinking, Jules. Mm -hmm. Got me thinking Dangerous. about how, um, yeah, also, yeah, you know, free will and all that. Um, we were thinking about um, DC's TV shows coming up at the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And obviously, because Avengers Infinity War kind of came along and basically landed like a meteor right in the ground and then caused everything to explode and everyone to cry and go to therapy afterwards. Um, people aren't talking about DC's shows, but they haven't recently announced. So we've got, yeah. um, they're coming up with their own streaming service 
Uh, Almost like they're following Marvel Super. Yeah, yeah, and that's the thing. They're kind of doing like a Netflix-style TV universe because mm. they've got um, a Teen Titans show coming out at the end of the year, which sounds really, really cool. They've got really... Always up for more They released Titans. an image of um, Robin earlier mm. on and um, Hawk and Dove as well. Actually, looks um, pretty decent. Yeah, and it? then there's also... They've announced that they're going to do a Doom Patrol spin-off, which is really, really cool. I'm not too familiar no. with Doom Patrol. Well, th- you'd love them. They're great. I'm just going to say they're up, up your alley. Okay. Right now. Yeah. So, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, that's brilliant. my guarantee. Okay. We'll make a series of you reading Doom Patrol and loving it. <laughs> um, so they're doing Doom Patrol. They also want to do um, a Harley Quinn animated TV show. Fair kind enough. Of like almost adult oriented, be a bit more mature than the old. Kind stuff. of like their version of Deadpool. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then there was also a new series of Young Justice coming out. Which is really, oh, really right. cool, because if you're familiar with DC's animated shows kind of going back five years ago now, there was a period where they were coming out with loads of really cool, interesting stuff, mm-hmm. and then because they were like, they don't sell toys, we're going to cancel them, and now we're getting a third season of Young Justice like four years after the last one got cancelled. R.I.P. Um, Batman, Brave and the Bold. Oh my... That was that show was too good for us. <sighs> so good. It was so good. That was... That was that generation's Batman at the animated yeah. series. Yeah, remember when uh, Bruce swapped minds and he w- kind of did the whole thing where he was like, I look fabulous. Oh, and yeah, stuff. yeah. And then there was also... Um, Do you remember when they even riffed on the Joker like, becoming the universe? Like, yes. Yeah, like they, yeah. they, they did that. Very, very the crazy. show about them breaking yeah. the ball. Watch it if you've not seen yes. it. Really, really fun show. But this is the thing. This is like the chrysalis period for DC. They've been knocked back a few times with their films, but their TV shows have usually sunk down and done well. Even Gotham, which necessarily has riled up a lot of fans, mm-hmm. still gets a lot of viewers through yeah, the doors. Good, 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 not as good rating. Not as much as Lucifer. But never no. mind. Oh, that guy's from Miranda as well. Yeah, I know. And they they bloody cancelled Constantine because they yeah. hate me personally. Yeah. But anyway, let's end on a high note yes. here. Alfred Pennyworth is getting his own spin-off. And you should care about it. As well as all the DC TV shows, because they sound really cool. Just give them a try. Who knows, you might find something that you like. You know what? We don't always crap on DC. Some of the stuff has actually been pretty The comics, for instance. Oh, they're really, really good. Some would argue that they're better than Marvel at the moment. At the moment, yeah. Dark Metal. Mmm. Mmm. There we go. Mm. I like how happy this was. Kind of taken off a bit of a tangent from talking about Alfred, but anyway, but anyway, that's been the news. Let us know what you think about this down in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Jules. This has been my son, you and thank you. Oh, oh, we're we're not shaking hands. No, no. This we're, isn't. No, we're going no, for another Right, okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you don't get. I, hope I don't die. No, I, I really hope not. I mean, if I, if I I know, I've known you too much for you to die and become Batman, I think. Yeah. I hope you avenge me when I do yeah. that. Really anyway, that's been the news. We've been awesome. You've been awesome as well. We'll speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.